Well, hello, folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona with the Springfield Armory XDE 3.3 pistol. It's a polymer frame pistol that we used before here for a couple of different tests, and we have tested ammunition for accuracy. Today, we're going to test the ammunition for performance. Which one is best for you and which one performs better? Our ammunition that we're pitting against each other are both federal ammunition, ammunition the HST ammunition, but two different kinds of ammunition. The standard HST is a 124 grain bullet, HST bullet, and the other one is the 150 grain micro, which is specifically designed for micro size barrel pistols, like the 3.3 inch H, uh, XDE. So we're going to shoot one of each onto a piece of 10% um, ballistic gel. We're going to be using clear ballistics. Clear ballistics is, uh, you know, there's pros and cons between the standard uh, ballistic ordnance gel, which is kind of murky and dark, but is pretty much 100% accurate to what muscle would be in a human body or any other living uh, a tissue, but the problem with ordnance gel is because it's organic, it decays and tends to rot and stink, and you have to use it and throw it away right away. One of the pros about the clear ballistics is that it is clear, of course, like the name clear ballistics, but the cool thing about it is you can remelt it and use it over and over again, like I have done. Um, they, uh, some people don't like it because it's not 100% comparable to the ordnance gel, but it's about between 95 and 98%. So there, our results are going to be pretty dang close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first shoot the standard 124 grain bullet uh, through the pistol, and then we'll shoot the 150 grain bullet micro. So let's go ahead and shoot. Magazine, one round of 124. Coming up. Okay, now let's shoot the 150 grainer. Another great round, which is specifically designed for better performance on um, pistols, micro pistols like this one. Let's try it now. Well, let's go see our results. Clear. Okay, folks, these are the results. This is a good reason why we have ammunition specifically made for uh, micro pistols. This is the 150 grain micro pistol, went straight through 16 inches of gel, and I found it way down there at the range. This is the 124 grain, it went 14 inches. This is the standard velocity, 124 grain. This one is 25 grains uh, heavier, 26 grains heavier than that one, and went all the way through out of a three and a quarter inch, three and a half inch barrel pistol. Uh, this is pretty impressive. I think we're getting the results we expected. We're gonna dig that bullet out, we're gonna compare them and show them to you. Well, folks, the results were impressive. The 124 grain bullet that we recovered from the uh, block and the 150 grain bullet that we recovered from the back of the range. Uh, it went straight through. It doesn't always do that, but this one went past 16 inches. And let me tell you what, the, even though this block doesn't give you 100% the performance of the ordnance gel, I tell you what, the wound channels were pretty impressive. So I tell you what, there's a reason why they make a specific round of ammunition for a compact pistol like this one, we call the micro pistol. Uh, I tell you what, if you ever want a really good and effective uh, bullet or ammunition for uh, the 3.3 is this Federal HST. This performed perfectly. The way it's supposed to be, it opened and expanded perfectly. So which one are you going to use for self-defense? 
this one or the, oh they're both great but this one performed a little bit better both great rounds both great uh, performance and reliability and both accurate because we've tested them before so for accuracy on this pistol so stay tuned for more we'll keep testing these with both ballistic gel and on targets and show you how effective they really are thanks for watching thank you for watching gunstock reviews please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.